Number 27, problem 24, 27, 2,427, 2, 427, 242, 7, 2,402, 7. Number of common factors. Yes. Okay, so I've never looked at this problem before. It's my first time approaching this problem. Um, I decided to do an easy today because I'm really, 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 really busy. And I always do a lead code problem every day and I try to post a solution. But some days it's a little bit harder than others. So I just got to make a quick one on my lunch break right now. Gang, 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 let's go. Okay, given two positive integers A and B, return the number of common factors of A and B. Integer X is a common factor of A and B if X divides both A and B and b okay well beautiful thing about this problem is we don't really think about anything too complicated because look at the constraint a and b are less than a thousand okay so if we were to check for some in order for something to divide uh, a number right like two divides four means what that four mod two equals zero. So X divides A if A mod X equals zero. Um, and the same thing for B if B mod X equals zero. So what we can do then is just check what, um, a and B mod X is in the range of all numbers from zero to the max or to the max or to the min of these two numbers, right? Because something can't divide something that's greater than it. So just take the minimum number of A and B and check if each X from the range one to one to that minimum number uh, divides both A and B. So this is pretty much a one-liner here. So let's return. We're gonna say if int, uh, so we're gonna do a sum. So we're gonna look at for X in range, mid one, we start at one. And we do one plus the min of A and B, right? Because we want to include the minimum number because it could be like minimum number six, the maximum is 12. So six divides both of those, okay? And we say A mod X equals zero and B mod X equals zero, All right? If they both equal zero, for each x, that means that it, it's a common factor of a and b. And then we just sum up each one, and we go from the range of one to the minimum one, right? Because no number greater than the minimum one will divide the minimum one. Gang, gang, let's go. Also for this problem, if you don't understand this minimum thing, this is gonna, make your runtime be big O of the minimum of A and B, right? Because it's always only going to go the minimum number of operations. Um, but it's also a little bit slower, but simpler to derive. You just say, well, from range 1,000 because... Nothing greater than including a thousand. Nothing greater than a thousand can be chosen. So you can always just use a thousand as well. But of course, you know, that's going to affect your runtime a little bit, but it still scales with uh, a thousand because a thousand is the maximum number for A and B. All right. So it's one of those problems where it's really easy to derive kind of a brute force solution if you just look at the constraints. Don't overlook the constraints. They can be really helpful in determining what kind of problem you're looking at, right? Like sometimes the constraints not associated with this problem, the problem is really, the, the optimal solution is really inefficient. And since it's really inefficient, it's only going to be kind of 
computable quickly, relatively quickly, with really tight constraints. So sometimes when there's really tight constraints, that, that indicates that the problem is going to have an inefficient solution. But not always. It can usually indicate either an inefficient solution or a brute force solution. Sometimes a brute force solution is an inefficient solution. Point is, look at your constraints. They can indicate something. You know, when you're doing these problems, look at all the material that you're given because all of the material indicates something of importance. That's why it was stated. All right, everybody. That's all I have for today. Um, I think this is a pretty approachable problem. Hopefully, my explanation wasn't too quick and too surface level. Um, uh, if something's a factor of A and it's a factor of B, it's a factor of both of them. So A divides that one, uh, X divides A, X divides B, X divides A and B, A mod X equals zero, B mod X equals zero. All right, all right, gang, 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 gang. See ya. Go Bears.